Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about inequality. So now I will show you how to answer. We know that about the bounds from 0 to number 1. We have 0 and number 1 in here. So, the first thing, when we put the power 2 for the both sides, they have like this. And they still the same. Now, if we put negative for the both sides, they will change like this. Next, if we put number 1 for the both sides, They will have like this. And then we put the square root for the both sides. So we have number 1 is richer than or equals to this one. And this one is always positive in here. This is about the first equation. Now let's go to the second one. Now we still use about the bounds. So we know that. When we put the power 2 in here, this one, that is about smaller than number 1. If this number is smaller than number 1 in here, from 0 to number 1, when we put the power 2 in here, this one is always smaller than S. Now, we put negative for the both sides. So this one they will change like this. Next, I will put number 1 for the both sides. Later that, we put the square root for the both sides. Next, from this one, we need to prove that this one is greater than or equals to 1 minus s. So the best thing we can do, we put the power 2 for the both sides. And we have like this. So we know that 1 minus s, and we know that s between 0 to number 1, 1 minus the number in here, that's still about the decimal number, but smaller than number 1. So with the decimal with the power 2 in here, between 0 to number 1 for 1 minus s, this one is always smaller than this one. So we just rule about this one in here. Now if we connect everything, so this one is richer than or equals to 1 minus s. And here is about the second one. Now we combine 
number one and number two in here they should be like this next we put the interaction from 0 to number 1 so the integration of this one we have s minus s power 2 over 2 and we have the bounds from 0 to number 1 this one we have s from 0 to number 1 so we have like this Now, if we simplify this one, we have 1 over 2. This one, we have number 1. And that is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.